Paul ponders on the events of the day, evaluating all of the competitive advantages and disadvantages that have arisen, arriving home, he explains to his wife Paula the sequence of events at the office, Paula's response will determine Paul's strategic direction towards his desired career objectives, honey, I'm home, you won't believe what happened at the office today, what is it, did they announce the promotion today, no, I did not get it, Robert got the promotion. Then for the first time, a patient offered me money to commit a crime for him. Can you believe that? Robert? Are you serious? I'm so sorry, you have been working very hard. Wait, commit a crime? Explain please. Well, after we all found out about the promotion, Robert and I talked about future growth at the practice. Then I had a new patient come into the office named Timmy. Apparently Robert owes a lot of money to some of the wrong people. Wow, are you serious? Yes, and Timmy is one of those people. He offered to pay me $50,000 to steal from Robert's house. $50,000? You better have said yes. I most certainly did not. I kicked him out of the office and told him that I will not get involved with the mafia or whoever he is. Why on earth would you do that? $50,000 is a lot of money and we could really use it right now. It is illegal Pola. I cannot afford to tarnish my reputation in the medical community, or go to prison. Now that Robert is no longer my competition, I have a competitive advantage over all the other doctors. You are so selfish Paul. We really need that money, and Robert deserves it after getting mixed up with the wrong people. Why don't you understand this? Paula how can you act like this? My next promotion could pay way more than that. This is illegal. You want me to risk my career and reputation to steal? When $50,000 is at stake and you didn't get this promotion, yes I expect you to do exactly that. I cannot believe this is coming from my own wife. I will not take this path, I will have no part in this.